Hey everybody, this is Cheryl. Brandon. Um, we have been getting a lot of things in the mail, but um, we just haven't done a mail call and we finally just said we've got to get this done. Um, I'm going to put the link to all the people that send us mail in to their channels in my description box. Uh, so, you know, just check out my description box to check out any of these people. Um, the first thing that we got was Will at Just In Time Prepping does uh, several live streams a week. And if you go in on his Wednesday live stream, you can um, get your name on a list. And then if you go in on his Saturday night live stream, your name will be on a wheel. And if your name is chosen, then you win a prize. Um, now, I've opened all of these packages, um, but this is the prize that I won from Will a couple of Saturdays ago. This is a brand new item that he has. It's heavy duty glass with his logo on it. It says, just in time prepping, stay prepared. I was one of them that I won the very first glass that he had, so I'm pretty excited about that. And as you can see, it's pretty heavy duty. Mm -hmm. You see the base of it, and it's pretty thick glass. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's a really nice glass wheel. Thank you so, so much for that glass. Um, at another live stream, Brandon won a game that he played. Uh-huh. Um, Will did this thing where we had to guess a number and I ended up guessing the right number the number was seven um, so here is the the um, bumper sticker that he sent me um, and he wrote me a note on the back it says um, Brandon thanks for Supporting the channel and community well So if you go into his uh, live streams, you know, you have a chance to win things and you have a chance to have your channel recognized um, mm -hmm. learn a lot of stuff about uh, Emergency preparedness and bushcrafting all kinds of stuff uh, check out his channel um Okay, so thank you, Will. We appreciate that very, very much. Um, now, the next thing I got was I got a letter from Uncle Al at Die Bullfrog 79. Um, he also included in this letter $5, and he asked me to donate half of it to Rob Painless. So I will be getting Rob's uh, address and send him half of that. Um, now, in this, he provided a lot of information. It's like a three or four, four page letter. And he provided a lot of information about preparedness, uh, you know, how to uh, survive um, when different things happen. Um, a lot of information about what to pack for, you know, your. Uh, pr uh, food preps, that kind of thing. Um, he also provided uh, a recipe, and as you know, he sent me one recipe for curry lentils, which we are going to do that, uh, do a video about that. But in this one, he included Uncle Al's no cook peanut sauce for rice, and use a cocktail shaker like what you'd use to make a drink to make this recipe, and we will do a video on that too. He also included vegan menu ideas for campfire or stove, grill, or fireplace. And he uh, included several uh, menu ideas, which we're going to uh, think about and prepare buckets for those. Um, he also uh, included uh, information about other things that you would need for uh, emergency preparedness. He also included a poem, which he actually wrote this for some other uh, reason, but I feel like that he chose this poem to include for me, so I am not going to read that poem. 
But he, he also included some information for Brandon for self-defense weapons. Now, as you know, Brandon has uh, cerebral palsy, and he has issues with uh, balance. Mm -hmm. um, and he included some information for Brandon on self-defense for um, his situation. So all of this information is very, very helpful, and I do appreciate it very much, Uncle Al. Um, we will put into practice the things that you have suggested. Um, we do appreciate that. Uh, knowledge is part of prepping. Okay, so the next one is from um, Reed. Reed. Manifestation of Imagination. And he had done a video about this flashlight. Now, this is my household flashlight. If I have uh, need a flashlight in the house, this is my go-to flashlight. And as you know, those flashlights use these big, bulky batteries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he had found online Let's see, I have already opened this, um, and as you can see, it, there we go, um, these are what, this is one of those, uh, adapters that you use to replace the big bulky flashlights with, uh, D-size batteries, and he was talking about this in his video, and I made the comment, I'd love to have one of those, because I have one of those flashlights, but when he ordered this flashlight, he ordered three of them. Well, instead of getting just three of these, he got three cases of these. So he, he had, he had uh, sent me one of these. And they do just use uh, D batteries. Let me load this up here. Let's see if I can get this loaded. And um, this, by doing this, by having this, it actually gives you another option. So if you do have uh, D batteries on hand and you don't have a battery to replace this in this flashlight, this gives you another option. Um, so we're just going to test this out here. See if my flashlight is going to be cooperative. And it appears it is. And as you can see, it actually works very well. <laughs> so, and you know, so now I'm going from this to four D size batteries. So that is going to come in very handy. It gives me another option and it actually feels a little lighter. So, <laughs> So that is, that is really great. I appreciate that very, very much, Reed. Um, appreciate that, and that's going to come in very handy. Now, the next one that I want to tell you about is <clears throat> Soggy Bottom Homestead have commented on my, live, on my Tips and Tuesday about uh, the plastic containers using for preps, and she was telling me about um, a dog food dish that she gets her dog food in and sent me a whole stack of these containers. Now these are the Bentiful, let's see, the Bentiful dog food. They're uh, the moist dog food. So if you're, uh, your dog eats moist dog food you could get these and then you have these little containers that could be used for other things and she was actually telling me that when she washed these there was no film left inside of them nothing like that um i'm looking here it doesn't say if it's food safe but it doesn't have the mark on here but these would be useful for a lot of other things. I can see a lot of uses for these containers. And again, here's the, the bentiful. 
so yeah these are going to come in very very handy i appreciate that um that's don and millie at so soggy bottom homestead now she included something else in here let me get these off the table here uh she included something else in here that i really appreciate very very much now she included first of all her their business card okay that's the business card uh you have to go check out her channel they have a really great channel by the way they do crafts they do sewing they do garden uh videos a lot of different things uh she did put a note in here says we hope you can put the containers to use which yes i can very much so uh, we have also included something just for you God bless you and your family, your sisters in Christ, Donna Millie. Thank you so, so much. Now, they did make me something that I want to show you that I just absolutely love. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? Look at the ribbon they put on there. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. And they included a little card that says, This item is this item is handmade especially for you by soggy bottom and its zany crew <laughs> and so and that's a homemade little card little tag there and it says thank you on the back yeah Not cool so that is just gorgeous yeah all right so um thank you so much i appreciate that very very much um Now, the last thing um, is from AK Fab. Um, we have been talking for a while um, about, ever since we've done the MRE testing, we have been talking about uh, uh, doing an exchange on testing stuff. And uh, we just, both of us have been so busy that we haven't got around to doing it. And so she finally was able to get a package together and she included a box of all kinds of stuff here. Um, she first of all included these bags. Um, here is a portion pack bag. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. It has one cup all the way down to a quarter cup. Uh, she included four of those. She also included these um, Star Wars snack bags. Those are really cute. I like those. She also included a couple of uh, latte candy, Bali's Best latte candy, the original mm. coffee candy. She included a couple of those. That sounds pretty good. She had been talking about coffee, coffee flavored candy in her, I think it was her last video. She also included a couple of Alpine spiced apple cider. Okay. She included a couple of those. She also included a couple of the fruit. These are the MRE, it says MRE star fruit punch flavored powder. I don't know if you can see those or not. The MRE. And then she included a Sterling Foods filled French toast. Let's see if I can. There we go. So that's some things for us to try. Then she included a beverage powder lemon lime okay and I'm assuming that's from an MRE um, she also included this is a, a, a type of like ramen noodle um, mm -hmm. but it's a different brand uh, she was talking about some of these on one of her videos. I don't know if these are one of the organic ones. It doesn't say, but we'll give that a try. 
She then included a mountain house, freeze-dried, western-style scrambled eggs with ham, peppers, and cheese. Which sounds... And I have never tried the mountain house, so this is going to be fun to, to try. And then she included, <clears throat> and she actually done a video on how to prepare a recipe using this. And uh, we're going to give that a try. So, but yeah, that's that sounds, instead it says instead of rice. Kasha. So, it's whole grain buckwheat is what it is. Kasha. Yeah. So, we'll give that a try. And then her main thing that she included in here, not my glasses off, was this is from, this is Menu 14 Spicy Southwestern Chicken from MRE Nation. And we told her that we would give this a try. And that sounds really good too. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna give that a taste test. And we will have to wait till Chris can come over to do this. Um, because you know, I I don't know when he'll be able to come over, but we will wait till he comes over. So as soon as he, he comes over to where he can do this, then we will we will do a taste test on all this and see how it works out. So um that's our mail call. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff in, and remember, I will include description, uh, the link to nice. all these channels yeah. uh, in my description box. I appreciate all of you for everything that you've sent, and um, yes, all this stuff will come in very handy, very useful. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, you know, we all have to be prepared, and learning from each other is how we be prepared. So y'all have a great day, and we will talk to you soon. All right, bye. bye. <laughs>